I wanted to go over today some of the frequently asked questions that just popped up on our Instagram stories when I asked uh, if you guys have any questions. We had so many good ones and I just thought I should probably address them so that everyone can see in case the stories run out. The first one was how much of a dropper am I supposed to be taking? One full dropper is one milliliter and that's 33 milligrams. It looks, if you see there's a gap at the top there, that's a full dropper. It doesn't go all the way to the top. So don't get confused if you read the directions, it says full dropper. It does mention in there that it's a little more than half to three quarters, okay? So anywhere that's near the top where it has a gap, that's a full dropper, one milliliter, 33 milligrams. The other question we had, another really good question that we had was, are there other ways to ingest CBD? Yes, there are. Now we're just gonna talk about what's researched because People will put things anywhere they want in places they probably shouldn't, but the main ones are sublingual, vaping, topical, and those are in order of effectiveness. Sublingual lasts longest, although it does take the longest to kick in. Vaping kicks in the fastest, but it does not last nearly as long. It's the shortest acting. And topical penetrates the skin. It does not have a, a large systemic absorption, although there are some pharmaceutical companies that are trying to get that done to make it for things like anxiety, but you have to have such a ton that absorbs through the skin in such a small area. They're usually loaded with um, like high solvents to make it penetrate your skin and things like that. As far as what's effective, you know, sublingual has a higher concentration over time or what's called a C-max, a concentration max. When you look at a bell curve of how it absorbs in your body, there are three phases of FDA trials, scientific studies that looked at CBD to see what the best absorption rate is so that they can make this stuff into a medication for kids called Epidiolex, which is a FDA approved uh, CBD drug and uh, the only one out there. And that's how they have all this information. That's what I'm reading to you, reading back to you is uh, FDA trials from that drug trial. So yes vaping does kick in quick but your concentration max like what your dose gets up to in your bloodstream is not the same as sublingual sublingual you get more concentration for a longer period of time although it takes a little bit longer to kick in if that makes sense building a tolerance people have asked in the past can i build a tolerance the research has shown that you cannot and that is only because while thc and cbd are similar molecules they affect two different parts of your brain and it's been shown that CBD does not have a dependence and therefore doesn't have a withdrawal, but also you don't build up a tolerance where the amount that saturates in your blood decreases in efficiency over time. In fact, there's something called a reverse tolerance, which is pretty cool, but the more you take, the more your endocannabinoid system is stimulated, the more efficiently it uses CBD. A lot of our customers and scientifically researched most people will decrease their CBD usage or frequency over time because they don't need as much. Their body will use it more efficiently. Now it's called a reverse tolerance and there are other things out there that have it. CBD is one of them. Will we ever offer a vape option? At the present, no. The liquid contents of vape are unknown as far as their safety profile over a long period of time. CBD does have a lot of studies and it has been researched for a long period of time. It's generally regarded as safe we have a ton of research that shows what the physiological effects of just the CBD molecule are. And the only other thing that we have in our product is MCT oil. So those two things are safe items according to the FDA, according to the World Health Organization, respectively. And if you have a, a product that has basically been untested, but we're trying to promote the health and wellness of firefighters. I think those two things don't go hand in hand. I don't want to put anything out there that doesn't have a mountain of research behind it. And vape just isn't there. So if they come out with research showing that they have a, a healthy option for vape, if the vape liquid is some kind of natural compound that's supposed to be in your lungs that your lungs can tolerate, sure. But I'm not a doctor. Everything I know about lung tissue would suggest that if it's not oxygen, 21% oxygen and 76% nitrogen and a mixture of, of some moisture and a couple of inert gases, it's not supposed to be in there. So arguably there is nothing, in my recent view, there's nothing that they're gonna make vape out of that is supposed to be in your lungs. You know, it's just unnatural. So for the foreseeable future, 
technology and healthcare industry changes aside, for the foreseeable future, we're not making vape uh, for those reasons. So even though we get asked about it all the time, I can't stand behind it. I don't know anything about it. And uh, for me, trying to promote longevity and health and wellness for firefighters, putting something unnatural in the lungs just isn't for me. Uh, that's not the identity of the brand at all. It's not what we're trying to do. So we're going to put up more frequently asked questions. Those were, I thought, the most applicable ones that most people could have. You know, if you guys have any other ones, you can reach out to us, email us, support at rescue1, the number one, cbd.com. You can message us on Instagram. We're really responsive on there. Or you can go on the website and fill out a contact form. Basically, any way online that you can find us, we're there. We're on Twitter. We're on TikTok, all that stuff. So whatever you guys want to reach out to us with, we would happily answer either directly or we can you know, combine them and we try to release some of these videos every once in a while. But it's been a while, so I wanted to do one for you. And uh, if you have any other questions, let us know. Take care of each other and be safe out there.